The Warden. It's been called terrifying, dangerous, easy to kill. That's better. But despite this guy having 25 times the hearts of a player, is now the strongest mob in the game, can hunt players by smelling them, and oh yeah, shoots laser beams. I'm gonna be spending the next 100 Minecraft days surviving all of it. My goal is to conquer my fear of the Warden, to prove that he should be a lot more afraid of us than we are of him. The first thing we need to do is walk around and find some loot because I have nothing. Oh, sh see that guy? That's a shrieker. It's kind of like the Wi-Fi of death. But instead of sending your mom a copy of your internet search history, it summons demons. I'm not really sure which is worse. And if you trigger three of them, well... Ah! Oh, he's here! Oh, he's right there! We gotta go! Already! Oh, I've already ruined it! This is day number zero! I haven't even done a full day yet! Oh, well, maybe he won't bring in another one because there's one too close? That ah, didn't work! Okay, we take the stuff and we run! There's gold! Oh, god apples! And another warden! Oh, we gotta go so fast! Listen, don't you bring one in too! It's not worth it! Ah, third one! But by day one, I realized this was gonna be much harder than I thought. Especially now that I was alone. See, I've attempted a challenge like this before with my friend Wreck. And let's just say I fell a little short of our goal. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh god. Maybe this would be a little bit less intense if I wasn't the only thing the warden was hunting. So to ensure the warden had more targets, I mean, friends, that it could chase if I needed to get away in a pinch, I decided to dig all the way to the surface to find some. Ooh, this is gonna be useful. I just needed to coerce one of these blockheads to come with me, and oh my notch, what is that? Oh, I like your eye patch. <clears throat> this might be a little bit forward, but would you like to live with me inside a cave amongst a demon? I guess that's a no. After willingly joining me back down in the deep dark, I could already tell that Patches here was gonna be an invaluable part to my survival. Patches, what are you doing? Or he's gonna be the death of me. How did you not set this off? Oopsies. Go, Patches, go, go! Ah, he's right there, Patches, come with me, please! Run, Patches, every man for himself! That was day six. On day seven, I needed to get our goal back on track, so I scavenged the remaining loot chests. Oh my gosh, this chest is actually insane. On day eight, I decided that if Patches and I were gonna survive this endeavor, we were gonna need an actual base, preferably one with doors. So on day 10, we visited the Mumbo Jumbo Museum and decided to make it a home. That's kind of cozy, right? On day 11, I watched a warden suffocate. I don't know if stupid is scary or not. By day 12, I had my own wheat farm. Day 14, I got tools and armor. And on day 16, I found the warden's weakness. Patches, are you ready? This is your idea. Aww. Let's see if this apex predator can be tricked by a simple bell. Come on, warden. Come on. You know where to find me. You know where to find me, son. Okay, throw that and he should come. Yep, 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 there he is. Run, 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 run. And there he goes. So apparently the warden would rather stare at a bell than chase a player. Patches, come check out our apex predator. Hold on, let me let me take your picture. One sec, hold on. So I guess stupid isn't scary after all. On day 17, I found a skeleton dungeon and started making a mob farm. But since nothing spawns in the deep dark, I had to dig a little bit more than I thought. Actually, a lot more. But when I went home to get some more supplies, I realized that something or someone was missing. Patches? Pat, pat, patches? 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 Patches had disappeared. I searched the entire house, down in the mines. Heck, I even searched in the nether, but it was no use. Patches was gone, and I was devastated, shattered. I mean, just riddled with guilt. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. C-A-M- Well, I couldn't let a conscience weigh me down now. So on day 25, I finished the mob farm. On day 26, I accused the warden of murder. Murder! Maybe. Day 29, I found out my ancient city was actually two ancient cities. Oh, this is actually two ancient cities. Then on day 30, for some reason, I decided the best way to assert dominance was to do a water bucket clutch on the warden. I can't see anything. Warden! Oh, what's up, warden? See you later. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> and with that poor of a reaction time, my fear was at an all time low. And I may have gotten a little cocky. Oh God, he brought friends. On day 32, I decided to remove all the skull from the entire ancient city. Because if there's no evidence of your fear, does it really exist? And you'll never guess what I found. The like and subscribe button. Day 34, I AFK'd at my mob farm. On day 45, I realized it wasn't worth it. 
Day 46, I decided to get some fresh air and some sand. On day 48, I wondered why the loot chest had so many saddles. On day 49, I thought it was some kind of hint on how to tame your warden. It was not. So I thought it would be funny to turn the warden upside down, but somehow it just made it creepier. On day 50, I invited all my friends over for a halfway party, and no one came. We're halfway! Woo! And I finally figured out what those saddles were for. Okay, horse, as long as we're moving quick, then there's no way that he can touch us. Oh god, never mind, I lied! Don't worry, horse, you'll be fine. He's clearly only targeting me. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I have to go! On day 51, I made a grave. On day 52, I made as much TNT as I possibly could. And on day 54, it was time to prove that the warden isn't nearly as tough as it seems. So this is just your everyday TNT pit, which hopefully, provided that I don't fall in it in the process, will blast the warden sky high and into oblivion. Because if it can be trapped, then it's no scarier than the average player, right? Well, maybe. But there was only one way to find out. Oh, he's mad. Is he coming this way? Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. All right. This is for you, Patches. Holy cow! Just keep running. Eat the god apple. Okay, we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. Where is he? I think he got stuck. Oh! Oh, he broke my shield! Let's get him. Let's get him. All right there. He's in here. He's in here. We have to get him out of there. There he is. There he is. There he is. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. Oh, there's diamonds right there. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go now. We gotta go now. We gotta go now. We gotta go right now. Okay, go, 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 go. He's right here. Three, two, one. Lift off. <laughs> Operation Rocket. Wait, is he still? Where is he? Oh my gosh, he's still alive. I was starting to think that the warden might actually be invincible. I mean, how is it possible that even after surviving 50 days with this thing, I was more afraid of it now than I was when I started? Or maybe it wasn't even really fear that I was feeling in this moment. Maybe it was just disguising my grief, because really, I was just missing my friend. Wait, 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 that's it, a friend. And I'm not talking about befriending it myself. I mean, making it friends literally. Because if I can make wardens, that means that I have a farm. And if something can be farmed, then it's no scarier than a measly chicken. So on day 58, that's exactly what I did. And boom, just like that, we've got ourselves a little warden farm. Or at least I hope it's a warden and farm. So the way this thing works is when I stand on this skulk sensor, the warden is supposed to, there he is, look at that, it works flawlessly. Now he's just got to walk into the water stream, there he is, he's getting mad, he roars, but before he can do anything about it, woo, there he goes. Not only was I now dictating where the warden would spawn, but also where it was going and ultimately its fate. Well, warden, now I know your true weakness, tiny water streams. And I'm sorry, but that is just not scary at all. Unless Mojang teaches you to swim. Please don't do that. I did it. I mean, I conquered my fear of the warden. I should be happy right now, but I still couldn't help but think of all that I had lost just to get here. So on day 61, I visited some Apache's favorite spots. And by day 62, I was just sick of being alone. On day 65, I stared enviously at a group of friends. On day 70, I figured that trying to fix up the ancient city might cheer me up, but all it did was remind me of another friend that I had let down. On day 73, I decided to get my mind off things and watch a movie that would in no way remind me of my own losses and feelings of complete and total meaningless in my life. On day 85, I realized that I had made a huge mistake. Well, there's quite literally nothing I can do about that now. On day 88, I tried out the new swift sneak enchantment. Look how fast I am. Day 89, I showed them to the only friends that I had left. They were not impressed. Then on day 94, I tried to light the new portal looking thing. Well, that's disappointing. And on day 96, I continued removing the skulk from the ancient city. This is honestly the most satisfying thing in Minecraft. But I realized something in these final days. Everything that I had done to conquer my fear of this monster had only made me become the monster. But maybe there was still time to set things right and finally move on from the friend that I had lost. Or find them in a hole right outside the freaking base. <gasps> Patches? Oh, what Patches? Have you been stuck inside this little hole? Now, did I actually find Patches days earlier and leave him in that hole as punishment for abandoning me for so long? <laughs> of course not. Anyways, I told Patches all about the water bucket clutch, the failed TNT trap, the warden farm, and even my new moral footing. And I could tell he was super stoked. 
Then on day 97, I realized what I had to do next. And now it's finally official, Patches! Now there's only one thing left to do. Free all of the wardens so that they can live their lives in peace just like you and me. And on day 99, everything came full circle when I reunited my former enemy with the friends I was keeping him from. Come on, bud. Let's do this thing. Woo, blocked it. Sucker, what's up? This way. Come on, in you go. Bye, Wardone. Oh, he just broke my freaking shield. This was the last shot. Go in, Wardone. He went up. Let's go say hi. There he is. Look, there's his little toes sticking straight up. Day 100. We found friends, made enemies, conquered fears, and the only thing left to do now was to set it all free. Because although I had survived 100 days with the Warden, okay, Patches, here we go. Let's do this thing. Maybe it's not about the destination or even the journey. You're free, Wardens. Be free. But the friends you make along the way. Ah, ah, look at them all go, Patches. And maybe, just maybe, even the scariest monsters can change. Uh-oh. Stay calm, Patches, stay calm. Ah! We have to get out of here right now. You're right! I'm s- ah, What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? No, 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 no!